The subject of my second talk is evolutionary metadynamics, a novel method to predict crystal structures. So the idea of this method is inspired by, the, by simulating the experiment. Perhaps everyone is, should be familiar with the picture of doing experiments. So what do we, what do, we do experiments? We prepare the samples and then we put it somewhere and then we, adjust, we set up the, con the conditions of temperature and pressure and thus we expect uh, a chemical reaction, chemical or physical reactions on this initial sample. So usually a successful experiment could lead to a discovery of new matter. So from the point of view of computer simulation, the chemical or physical reaction could be viewed as from jumping from one state initial sample to another state the final product. So it, is it possible to simulate this, this transition by computer modeling? In, in principle, yes. However, it usually takes a long time to, to observe the transition because the existence of energy barrier the waiting time could be expo exponentially related to the energy barrier. The, uh, the direct simulation could, would be unaffordable due to the uh, in reality. The question is how to efficiently cross the energy barrier. Metadynamics provide a possible sol solution. So the idea of metadynamics is to adopt, to study, to study the f pressure induced phase transition. It adopt it use it used the correct the cell edges as a collective collective variable, and then construct a new term new energy term which is called Gaussian function. The Gaussian function is history dependent. So by introducing the history dependent Gaussian function, it can drive the system gradually get out of the trap of an the energy minima. And until, it is, until the phase transition happens. So uh, at, each st at each step, the structures, the system should be equilibrated by computer si molecular dynamics simulation. However, as we know, molecular dynamics is usually time consuming. So we made an improvement for this method. The adjustment is, 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 not, is small, but very but very useful and important to study this. We use new equilibration, soft, uh, soft mutation from evolutionary operator instead of computer simulation. The idea of soft mutation is to mutate the, at mutate the atoms in the, in the cell according to the calculated soft moods. Then, we, then the structure should be relaxed because it only requires a f uh, simple geometrical statistical relaxation, so it can be much it can be much done much faster than molecular dynamics simulation. And another advantage of this method is that it, we can mutate the uh, the structures in many ways depending on the selection of soft the vibration modes, so that. For each step, we can produce many structures that it would help us to explore the neighborhood and the energy minima as much as possible. This method can be implemented in a very simple way. We just need to take the starting structure and then we up, we, by applying pressure, we update, we update the cell edges for every step. And also we select the structure at the, for best structure to do soft mutation that's used to generate the new population, population by population by population driven by the, the historic, historic dependent Gaussian, Gaussian function. It, the, the system is allowed to get out of the min, uh, minima and jump to another minima that the phase transition could happen. So this method can be pretty particularly useful for studying the min, phase transition of minerals in the, earth, in the Earth. As we know, most of our knowledge about the Earth is from seismic data. And uh, according to the seismic data, we, know, we, 
we found that there is a discontinuity in the region of lower mantle, uh, which is called the DWA. The discontinu discontinuity indicates a phase transition for minerals in, in this region. It took a long time for people to figure out that this transition was from the perovskite structure to post perovskite structure. However, it's very hard to, in, to figure out how the transition happens. So we used our, we used our method, we start, starting from the perovskite stru structure by applying, the, uh, by applying pressure. We indeed found the final products as post-perovskite structure. Not only post-perovskite structure, we also find the several interesting intermediate structures uh, along the trajectory from perovskite to post-perovskite. So if we, com we combine the, all of these structures together, then we can easily establish this transition scenario. Is that we can, we, can, we can clearly see that the transition mechanism could be achieved by the multiple steps of sliding, uh, plane, plane sliding. Another example is also related to uh, earth science, another important mineral, aluminum silicate, which is also abundant in the earth mantle. And aluminum silicate could adopt uh, many polymorphs due to the high, uh, high energy barrier between each, uh, between, between each, for each polymorph. So the compu computationally is very challenging to study the phase transition. However, by using our method, we starting from the low pressure form and the low set, and we indeed observe a, a sequential phase transition to say limulite and then kinite. Apart from, pre apart from the crystal structures, we can also collect a snapshot f between, between the phase transitions, and thus we can have a full picture about the, of, about the transition mechanisms with a, which, with a single calculation. The last exciting example is about carbon. As we know, if we can put graphite at, a low, at high temperature, we might be able to synthesize diamond but what if we compress graphite at a low temperature? People did such experiment and they found, a, they found a new form which is different from diamond and it's also super hard. And in some, times, in some way, it could even crack diamond. However, due to the limitation of the experimental technique, the exact crystal structure of this new product is, is not available. So this. This story stu stimulated the uh, theoretical efforts. Many people recently proposed many models from different methods try to explain this, this unknown product. If we can study this, this problem in a systematic way, here we tried our method, which we studied from the hexagonal graphite and we compressed it at experimental condition. And indeed, we found a, set, a lot of new, a lot of low energy polymer uh, allotropes of carbon. It can be diamond with six membrane, and it, it can be a structure with four plus eight membrane topology, which is actually the model of which is actually BCD4 carbon structure have been previously proposed. And also, we found that many other previously proposed structure like. Uh, M carbon and w, w carbon, which contains five plus seven membrane topology, and we also also we can find we can find many hybrid structures by combining the features of five plus either five plus seven membrane or six membrane or four plus eight membrane. We also compressed another another polyty polytype of graphite, lump graphite, in our simulation. All the results are the results are, are very similar to the previous results. We can find a, a lot of structures, low energy structures with with either six membrane topology or four plus eight or five plus seven membrane topology.
in this two single calculation, we actually produce, reproduced all of the previously proposed models by, from different methods. And the most strikingly, we also find some new polymorph with new topology. For instance, we find, for instance, X carbon with another type of five plus seven member ring topology, and uh, Y carbon with another type of four plus eight member ring topology. So we also categorize these carb carbon allotropes in into five types. The first type is six is diamond containing six member ring and uh, the second type is five plus, is M and W carbon containing five plus seven mem uh, topology member ring topology and X carbon another type of five plus seven member ring topology BCT4 or Y carbon two, two different types of four plus eight member ring topology so all of these structures are up calculated to be have to have excellent hardness and uh, optical properties and uh, energetically competitive so it means that if the structure can be synthesized those materials can be can have many practical use so in conclusion we designed a new method combining the features of metadynamics and the evolution